You know why I admire President Barack Obama? Because he's the first person to jump. Let me explain. I believe in this life. A person's gonna flop. You know, it's my personal belief. Call me crazy. But I believe I really believe that a person's gonna flop. And that person that is the first to fly isn't gonna be known for the person that flies. He's gonna be known for the person that jumps. You know, people gonna see him is they're not gonna say, Oh my god, I can't believe he's really flying. They're gonna say, Oh my god, I can't believe he jumped. And President Barack Obama, that's what you are, sir. You're the first Negro to jump. You know, everybody's saying, oh, he's not the first person, the black person to run for president, but he's the first person to make it. Same goes with flying. I'm pretty sure people try to fly before, but they all fall. The person that's going to fly is going to achieve it because they believe that they can. They really truly believe that I'm not going to fall. That's my introduction for today, folks. Enrich forever. Let's go. Black and white issues. White folks are lynching chairs now. I just put it all out there in the clear for everybody to see it or hear it. It's crazy because now it's getting closer to election time and white people are getting scared. Some white people are getting scared. They go, oh my God, is, is he really going to win the game? Yes. <laughs> yes, he is. You know why? Because he's fighting for something he really believes in. You can see it in his face when he's talking about it. You know, lower middle class and his grandmama raising him and working at the bank, you know, working the way up. He, he believes that. He really went through that. He can relate to it, you know? It's crazy because we're getting scared now. It's like, God, it's another time, another four years. I can't believe it. They say racism is dead now. But where, where could it have gone? Hmm. Maybe onto metal seats holding invisible black heartbeats, suspended by thick ropes hanging from thick, bold trees. Maybe that's where it's at. Did you know that in Florida they have race-based student goals now? They classify you by your race. They set an expectancy percent and they can tell by your race how you're going to classify in certain subjects. They tell you how much percent they think that are going to be at grade level reading. And 74% of black students are going to be able to read at a grade level by year 2018. 74%. Well, that's not, that's not bad, you know, I mean, it's better than 64%. Well, oh, that's cool, that's cool, yeah. Asians are at 90%. White students are at 88%. Native American students are at 82%. dun da 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 Latinos are at 81%. We are the only students in that bracket that have lower than 80%. 74% of black students will be able to read at a grade level by the year 2018. And they say, oh no, this is not racist. This, this is not being racist or condescending. This is just setting realistic goals. They say racism is dead now. Did you know that in New York, the population of young black males is at 158,000? Did you know 168,000? African American males, young males, got stopped by the police. 168,000 out of 158,000. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> That's not correct math. 54% of African American students in Florida actually graduate from high school. Black and white issues. That's your fault. Black people fault. You gotta learn how to suck it up. Now we got a black president. He's about to go for another turn. Give us a fighting chance. You know, white people get mad and scared, shaking. They turn them, they turn them paler. I'm not racist. I'm just stating facts. People say that racism is dead. I can't tell where it's at either. I don't see it. But more people follow Nicki Minaj on Twitter than they actually do Oprah Winfrey or M Michelle Obama. We can't even appreciate the genius we have in our own culture, you know? That's why other people can't appreciate it, because we don't even appreciate the genius that we have, the monuments that we have, the figures that we have. In order for other ethnicities and other cultures to respect us, we got to start respecting ourselves. How can you look at the next man and want them to respect you? You don't even respect yourself. Corniest thing I ever heard, <laughs> Sister Act 2. You want to go somewhere, you want to be somebody, you better wake up and pay attention. Corniest thing I ever heard in my life, but it's the realest thing you'll ever hear in your life. Black people, we gotta wake up, man. It's not a game. People think voting don't count. People died for the right to vote. Think they were just dying for no reason. People dying for no reason now. You know, in 1970, 1970, the federal income for black household was 
$30,000. Now, it's a whopping $32,000. <laughs> We're so much better off now considering there's inflation. We've jumped tremendous in inflation since 1970, but we still only 2000 backwards than we was in 1970. That makes any sense. Black and white issues. I've seen 10 brothers that I grew up with mug shots. 10. And I'm not perfect. I'm not scolding. I'm just saying what I see. We got to get it together, man. Sad, man. Sad to see grown man overcut a female. I, I, I laughed when I saw it because I couldn't believe it. Believe that that happened. We want people in the workforce to respect our black women, but we can't even respect our black women. <laughs> oh, how is that? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> it doesn't make sense, man. <laughs> it's just. It's, it doesn't make sense. It's in black and white. <laughs> it's plain as day that we're missing. I don't know if people are waiting for a crack in the sky. A crack in the sky every morning. <laughs> the light to cast out the darkness. Light every morning. <laughs> we're waiting for it. Don't worry, Mitt Romney. Try your best, dog. I ain't go for you. If you try your best, don't worry about it. No trip. Cause you can have that small piece of the American power when we done with it. Obama, I'm rooting for you, dog. Rooting and I'm praying for you, man. Once you win this one, he's gonna be coming for you, bro. Be strong, man. Rest in peace, man. The tide. Rest in peace, black people. Rest in peace. That's what you wanna do, you no? Know? Rest in peace. With me, I'm gonna be loud. And so if things are true, so if things are honest, and so if things are just, and so if things are pure, and so if things are love, and so if things are good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which you have both learned, received, and heard, seen in me, do, and the God of peace shall be with you. The same wish forever. Thank you for chilling with your boy. I love you. Give me your comments, hate mints, <laughs> love mints, and all that.